Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about creating a first person shooter game in your Sna Engine. So first of all, let's import our modules for this game, and we're going to import your Sna, so from your Sna import star. And also, we're going to import the random module, so from random, import, import uniform. And we also want to import uh, our first person controller. So from yersna.prefabs.first person controller import first person controller. Now, the third module here will enable us to control the first person movement in 3D space and at the same time give us a first person perspective. So now we can create a window with a nice background, and we can also create our player and our ground. So let's first set up our basic app. So app is equal to your snow and app dot run. And now let's create our sky. And we want to have our player, and we'll set our player equal to a first person controller. And set the y equal to two. And set the origin. So I set the y origin equal to negative 0.5. Now we can also set the ground equal to an entity with the model being equal to a plane. I'll set the scale equal to 100 on the x, 1 on the y, 100 on the z axis. I can set the color equal to color.lime and set the texture equal to white. I'll set for white cube. Now I can set the texture scale equal to, uh, or I'll scale it 100 on the x, 100 on the y, and I'll need to set a collider equal to a box collider. So if I save and run this, now I have my 3D world around me. There's a sky, I have a ground right there. I can use the WASD key, keys to basically move forward, backwards, left and right in this 3D space. And I can also use my mouse to look and change my directions. And you might notice that uh, you can't move your mouse cursor out of the window to close it. So if I try to close my window, it will just keep looking up. And what you need to do is click uh, Shift and Q at the same time. So if I click Shift Q, then it basically exits the window. So now that you saw that I have a plane set up in my player, let's create Basically, let's create four walls. So I'll have our first wall, so wall one equal to an entity. I'll set the model equal to a cube. I'll set the collider equal to a box collider. And set the position equal to negative eight on the X, zero on the Y, and zero on the Z axis. I'll set the scale eight on the X, five on the Y, one on the Z axis. And I'll rotate it to, so, so the rotation to 0, 0, 0. So 0, 0, 0. I can also set the texture equal to a brick texture. And set the texture scale equal to 5, 5. Now I can also set the color equal to color.rgb. I set the red to 255, the green to 128, and the B to 0, the blue to 0. Now this is our first wall. To create our other three walls, I'll just have my variables right here. Instead of writing all this out again, I can duplicate it. So duplicate. And what I want to do is duplicate wall 1. So wall 1. And set the Z position equal to 5. I'll create wall 3 and duplicate wall 1. So the Z position equal to 10. And for wall four, wall four, I'll rewrite this. So entity, so the model equal to a cube. So a collider equal to a box collider. So the position equal to, oops, position equal to negative 15 on the x, 0 on the y, and 10 on the z axis. So the scale equal to 1, 
five, twenty. So the rotation equal to zero zero zero. So the texture equal to a brick texture. So this texture scale equal to five five. And also the color equal to color RGB. 255, 128, 0. So if I save and run this, oh, let's see. Wall 3 is equal to dupli duplicate. So now what I have are my walls. So I have three walls right here, and I have one wall all the way back there, which is so far, uh, good is what we should have right now. So if I leave and then um, now what we can do is create our weapon. So since this is a first person shooter, we need to have a weapon that can actually shoot something. So right below our walls, I'm going to create a gun and set it equal to an entity. I'll set the model equal to uh, an OBJ file um, in my assets folder. So gun.obj. Also the parent equal to camera.ui. Scale equal to 0 0.08. Color equal to color.gold. And set the position equal to 0.3 on the x, negative 0.2 on the y. And I can set the rotation equal to negative 5 on the x, negative 10 on the y negative 10 on Z. So if I save and run this, now you can see my weapon I'm kind of in the bottom left to the center and it's yellow so far. Now we can also add in an input function so that we can actually fire the gun. So at the very top I'm going to create an input function, define input with a parameter of key. So parameter of key I'll check if key is equal to left mouse down. Then I'll play an audio file, so which is a laser sound. And I'll create an, I'll play an animation as well. So animations assets spark. Now I can set the parent equal to camera.ui. FPS equal to 5, scale equal to 0.1, position equal to 0.19 on the x-axis, negative 0.03 on the y-axis, and also the loop equal to false because I don't want to loop this animation. So basically when the left mouse key is pressed, a laser sound will play and a gunfire spark will be animated. So let's run this. So if I click, now there's an audio sound, and then right above my gun, you see that there's a fire animation, kind of like a spark. So I can keep firing, and you notice that this will keep playing. So I'll close this for now. And now we can create the uh, enemies. So there are going to be two different groups of enemies, the wasps and the spiders. So now let's create the wasps first. Now, to create our wasps, I need to create an if. a class for our wasp. So, class wasp of button, undefined in init function, self x, y, and z. I'll call super dot init. And I'll set parent equal to scene. I'll set the model equal to uh, assets or not a wasp file. So the scale to 0.1. So the position equal to x, y, z, which are our parameters. And I need that this comma. And also the oops. For so the collider, I'll set the rotation equal to 0, 90, 0. 
and I'll make sure that this is a box collider. So now we can create our wasps. So I'll have six wasps, which is represented by this variable. I'll have a wasp list equal to uh, a list of empty objects of size num or size six. So an empty list of six. And now I'll use a loop. So for i in range num, I'll have our coordinates for a wasp. So wasp coordinate x is equal to uniform negative 12, negative 7. And here we're using the random module that we imported at the top. Our wasp y position is going to be equal to uniform 0.1, 1.8. And our wasp z position is equal to uniform 0.8, 3.8. So on the x and y axis. Now I'll set wasp index i equal to an object of the wasp class wasp x, y, and z positions. And I will animate each wasp. So wasp index i dot animate x wasp x plus 0.5 for the duration of 0.2 seconds. And I'll make sure I loop it. So loop is equal to true. So if I save and run this, Click to my left. Now there are a few wasps over here. So if I click, I shoot the wasp. Nothing happens so far. So how are we actually going to kill these wasps? Now we're going to be able to do this in our input function. So let's do this. In our input function, we want to check uh, inside of this if statement. So if we shoot then for wasp in our wasps list is wa if wasp dot hover I want you to destroy the wasp so when we hover the mouse over the wasps and we left click to fire the gun then that means the wasp will be killed and disappears so if I run this and I try to shoot a wasp again you'll see that a wasp now disappears which basically simulates us shooting and killing one of these enemies. Now we're going to do the same thing for our spiders. So we want to also create our spiders class. Now what I'll do is just copy and paste this wasp class and change a few things. So this is now spider scene and this is going to be spider.obj. I'll set the scale to 0.02. And that should be it. So now we're going to create six spider objects. So spiders equals to none. Oops, none times num. And just like uh, our wasps, I'll set spider x equal to uniform negative 12, negative 7. The y is equal to uniform 0 0.1, 1.8. And the z is equal to uniform 5.8, 8.8. Now set spiders index i equal to a spider of s x, s y, s z. And I will animate each spider as well. So animate x as x plus 0.5. I set the duration equal to 0.2. And I want to loop it. So now I can run this. And now I have my wasp over here. And I have my spiders over here. So if I shoot my spider, notice that now my spiders won't uh, die. So just like how we did with our wasps, we want to kill our spiders. So right here, inside of our input function uh, in our if statement for spider and spiders, if spider dot hovered destroy spider. 
And just like that, we should be able to kill our spiders. So we do this. Yep, and we have it right here. So now we can also expand the game to make the game more fun or more challenging. For example, having different enemies coming from different directions repeatedly, making the battlefield more complicated and adding more objects. We can add in a health bar for the player, we can create a scoreboard, and etc. But that will be probably be in our future videos. So this is the end of this video. If you have any comments, please put them below in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to your channel, please hit the red button below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.